चैप्टर थर्टीन पार्ट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन टू मोर्गेजिंग टू मोर्गेज रिक्वायरिंग लेवल ब्लैंडेड पेमेंट आर एच पेडेंटिका सो सो यू हायर रिवर्ड ब्लैंडेड हायर रिवर्ड एच पेडेंटिका सो एच पेडेंटिकल मीन्स सेम ब्लैंडेड मीन कम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल एंड इंटरेस्ट सो इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट वन हैज ए फाइव यूर टर्म सो हाल वन हैज ए फाइव यूर टर्म एंड सेकेंड वन हैज ए टू यूर टर्म सो हाल टू ईयर So two more is requiring level blended payments are identical in all respect. All respect means five percent, five year fix, right? Um, one is two year fix, and the second one is a five year fix, right? And semi annual, everything remains the same. The monthly payment on the five year term mortgage would be. So, is the same the same as those required on the two year term mortgage? I know. Why is that? So you're gonna do the uh, the number basically. Take a five percent, you know, at any interest rate, right? Mm -hmm. And semi annual, and do the five years, right? And monthly payment on the five year term, and the same amount. So everything remains the same, right? And see why it's the same. Okay. So, but it's see the same as those required on the two year term mortgage. But they can ask you differently too. Right, and we go to the next one is twenty five. What is that? Is mine or yours? Yours. Oh, yeah. This is for him. Okay. Yeah. 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 My phone. इडेंटिकल Either the word identical, either the word preceding one. So basically, what payment was before? It is the same payment every month. So last month was five hundred. This month is also five hundred. So that's called constant payment mortgage. Basically, in the exam, they can ask you each payment is identical to the preceding one belongs to which one of the following, right? Constant, fixed, right? So, so is A. Yeah. Then we go to the question number twenty-seven. Constant payment repayment schemes developed in response to so same kind of question, right? Mm -hmm. So I would constant payment repayment. So it was developed in response to principal risk. Principal risk basically means if I lent to somebody five hundred thousand dollars. If the other guy is not paying me any principal, so what happens? So he he may walk away tomorrow, year or six months or whenever, right? So basically, if he's paying like every month the same payment, right? So five hundred dollars a month, three hundred dollars toward us interest, two hundred as principal. So basically, so my my principal will be safe. But if somebody is paying only uh, interest only, so basically what is he losing? Is, right? So principal is still there. So we go to the next one is that thirtieth. All other things being equal, the type of loan with most risk to the lender is. So even if you don't read the the bottom one, which one should be? That is the type of loan and the most risk. If you lend the money, which one is the most risky? If we don't pay principal. Yeah, if we don't pay principal, right? It means interest. Sir? Accruing loan, so where there is where there is interest accruing, basically it adds on, right? For example, if I 
lend somebody money. He say, okay, he's gonna pay me after one year, right? Five hundred thousand dollars. He's paying me ten percent, so, but he is gonna pay me after one year. So five hundred thousand plus fifty thousand dollars, right? That adds on every, right? So is number one. Interest accruing means it adds on. So if they ask you, uh, basically, yeah. So this one is it. So next one is thirty-four. In which one of the following mortgage repayment schemes? Sorry, mortgage repayment schemes. So the monthly mortgage payment increase. Highlight monthly mortgage payment increase on a regular basis. So basically, every month it goes up, or every six months goes up, or every three months goes up. Which one is that? So so highlight monthly payment increase on a regular basis. It's called a graduated payment mortgage. Yeah. So if they ask you which one is the problem, which one, please explain gradual payment mortgage. They will say the payment increase, then the payment decrease, right? Payment remain constant. So which one pick up the payment increase on a regular basis. And the next one is 35. With which one of the following loan is the lender's initial capital and periodic income at the greatest risk? Nobody looks at interest only loans. Uh, do you remember we 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 just did it, right? <laughs> yeah, interest accruing. So if you find this one is wrong, it's very easy now, right? Mm -hmm. So interest accruing. So the numbers which you wrote in the beginning, like one, two numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those so questions are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one you can add this thirty-five. You can add to the most risky one was last one was the thirty. You can write beside thirty and thirty-five. So when you do the 30, so you do 35, it's done, right? You don't waste time, right? So beside 30, you can write down 35, right? The next one is 43. So 43. <coughs> What is the 43? Yeah, 43. Which one of the following is not is not a primary motivation for investment? How the word not? A primary motivation. How the word primary motivation for investment in real estate? Right? So basically is C, so a need for short term funds, a need for higher short term funds to finance the acquisition of chattel. So chattel means movable, 43. So basically, if, if I have to lend the money, I won't lend for something, for a store or something, you know, right? Short term, short term means for 30 days, 60 days, right? So which one is not a primary? But if they ask you the question, which of the following is a primary motivation? So change the question, right? Primary motivation, then diversification of investment portfolio, right? So I'll, I'll give somebody 30 days, somebody one year, somebody for a mortgage, you understand? I'll diversify. So how do the word diversify? Other the acquisition of portfolio, the income from which they benefit the investor in retirement years. So I'll add this one. So portfolio, with benefit in the retirement year. So this is so I will also do that too. Other one is a, a desire for accommodation for residential or economic activity. So no so highlight residential. I'll I'll invest in residential too because I have to live in. So but 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 the answer here is a C. And the last one is and last is uh, forty eight. So 48 is 